I'm uh, Barbara van Schaik and I uh, work at the uh, bioinformatics uh, department of the Academic Medical Center in Amsterdam. Uh, together with my colleagues I uh, work on DNA sequence experiments. Uh, so we work together with many labs within our uh, institute and these type of experiments they generally uh, generate quite a lot of uh, data. So for that we use grid computing uh, to speed up the work. At the uh, virus discovery unit, uh, they uh, uh, perform uh, DNA experiments when and they try to extract, or they made a protocol to extract uh, uh, viral DNA and uh, RNA from human samples. And then they want to identify uh, which viruses are present uh, in a particular patient. So what they do, they sequence the entire uh, repertoire uh, but then every sequence needs to be identified, uh, so for that uh, they use BLAST, but normally they uh, did it manually. So they did it via the official website of the NCBI, but it was quite a lot of manual work. Um, so for that uh, our group uh, implemented BLAST uh, on grid, uh, so these experiments typically uh, generate uh, one million uh, sequences. Um, and uh, so that was already a speed up, uh, but uh, most of the time uh, these databases where you're going to identify your sequences against, um, they are regularly updated. So you also want to repeat the experiment uh, after a while and also all the experiments that you have done before. So their uh, grid computing uh, helps them. So the Genome of the Netherlands project is a project uh, that is uh, started for, uh, in Groningen by uh, Professor Siska Weiminga. And what they do in this project is that they are going to sequence the entire genomes of 770 uh, healthy individuals. Uh, to give an impression about how large that data size is, it's uh, uh, 45 terabytes of raw uh, sequence data. Um, so first you need to compare it to a reference genome and then you are going to identify uh, variants. And there are several uh, more analysis uh, steps afterwards. So uh, how we were involved was uh, that they use a, a very big cluster in, in Groningen to, uh, to uh, do this kind of analysis. Uh, but they also want to experiment with uh, grid computing because more analysis uh, on these data sets uh, will, be uh, will be performed later. And we already had some experiments uh, with grid computing. So that's how we uh, got involved. So we implemented uh, the same analysis pipeline as they did in, uh, in Groningen and ran that on, uh, on grid on a limited amount of samples uh, to check whether grid computing could also be used uh, for these type of analysis.